All right, who is ready to do some pack cracking? Uh, this is Brian from Let's Imagine We're Gathering, and it's about time we do a battle pack competition with these 15-card uh, collector booster packs from Modern Horizons 2. So you saw in the first video I released not too long ago, maybe last week sometime, that I opened the first six packs of this box, and I had some major hits. Major hits. So I decided I'm going to do a battle pack, and I got some comments out there. Uh, I got six answers for all the correct answers for all the top cards from each pack. Uh, we got Archangel, Tim, Archangel of Tim Bister, Woody MTG, RU, Tommy Golan, XX. Uh, we had a couple more of the comments on there, um, but they did not answer the correct answer correctly to be in the battle pack. But don't fear, there's going to be giveaways on this as well. So I've got one that I'm going to give away automatically. Whoever does not win, uh, plus anybody that commented additionally, and I think there was only one, maybe two others. They're going to be in a randomized uh, giveaway, and we'll show. I will show you what you can have a choice up from uh, here in a minute. And then we also are going to do a um, kind of a potluck giveaway as well. If, uh, if right down here at the bottom of the spreadsheet, if you see it, I've got all these listed. These are the top cards from this set, the highest valued ones. Now some of this stuff I've already pulled. I pulled a Ragavan, I pulled a Misty Rainforest, a Verdant Catacombs, and an Arid Mesa. Um, but the other ones are available. Not to say that I couldn't pull a different version. Doesn't matter what version it is, as long as I pull one of them, um, I will give. As long as I pull one of them, I will give away another card uh, and do another drawing. Um, and, and I'll probably put everybody in the mixture, or maybe I'll just put the ones that didn't win. Let's go ahead and spread the wealth and do that. So if they didn't win yet, you will be in that one. If I draw one of these cards out of these six packs, very possible. Um, actually, it's not going to be one of them. That's right. I'm not doing. I forgot. I'm about to sit here and just talk myself to death and forget what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> I was going to randomize, so we're just going to pick the one right here in the middle. Looks like block 24, right there where Cabal Coffers is. We're going to randomize three times, and whatever is in that spot is the one I have to draw. I'm not going to say any one of these because that might make it too easy. But if nothing draws and I do draw one of them, I might still do it. Let's just see what happens. But nonetheless, let's give it a whirl and randomize this real quick three times just to do it for the fun of it. And block 24, Misty Rainforest. So i got to pull another Misty Rainforest. I've been hitting it pretty hot with all the packs I've opened, so it's very possible. But if I don't, I might still give something away, so just bear with me. All right, we do need to do a randomization right here for these guys. Um, I just do three like always uh, with this type of battle pack setup. So we got six contestants. Let's go ahead and randomize the range. One, two... And three. First open a pack will be Whoop, then Archangel, Tommy Gold, Tim Bister, RU, and XX. Um, so like I normally do, I just do a quick shuffle, stack them real quick, bring them back down, cut them across. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of messing around. Let's do that and fun and fun. I have, all right, perfect. All right, so there we go. <laughs> nice and shuffled. All right, three minutes deep. We're going to run through this super quick and try to tabulate as fast as I can. I pause the video anyway, so it's not like the time runs out. Uh, so looking for Misty Rainforest for sure. Gonna do a randomized drawing. I guess before we jump into that, uh, so the winner of the battle pack, uh, gets this card. Now there are some other cards I'm gonna throw in the mix. They're a lot less value than this, but you, it's your choice. When we get down to the back end of that for the drawing, I will show. If you decide you don't want this, but you want one of the other ones, you can do that. But this is only available to the winner of the battle pack. So that's up to you if you'd like to do that. But all right, without further ado, since I've been talking, let's get to this first pack. Let's see what kind of wild stuff we're going to get. Got some awesome stuff last time. Uh, I really hope we get some more awesome stuff. I mean, it's just fun seeing this stuff just show up um, out of the pack. I'm sifting through as fast as possible. And see, I want to hit stuff like this. So this is Woot's pack. So Dragon, right, Dragon's Rage Channelers are the top uncommon in this set. And I believe it's still at the highest value. I don't know what this is going for, but this is a top one. So that will help his, his total out for sure. Um, but I, I wanted to indicate that you're not going to get all those in the packs, but I'm going to see them on myself and I'll add them to the total if they're, if I don't, you know, acknowledge them as we go through, uh, swamp etched forest or etched, etched forest, etched swamp. And then our first one is going to be Necrogoyf. I don't think I've seen that one just yet. Good old Necrogoyf going right along to our next one. We've got ravenous squirrel. Oh my gosh. Not a ravenous squirrel. And then... Let's see, we got a rare showcase. Search the premises. I think somebody, a buddy of mine, was just asking for that. I think <laughs> I just, yeah, I got it. So I, I maybe I'll give him that one. All right, here we go. And our first retro foil is Galvanic Key, commonly picked up quite often. It is a common. And we have another show, we have a showcase foil. That is Floodhound. Cool, cool. Floodhound, showcase foil. And then moving on to an uncommon etched foil. Mog. Salvage. So that's just regular etched foil. Pretty sure. Yeah. It's another uncommon etched foil. So that's a regular etched foil. 
And then moving on into our retro foil, we got the weird name guy. And that's an edged foil of that guy. Can't really see it because the edge foil, I mean, you can see it okay. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to try to read that. So we've got the retro version of him. And then back here, we've got a Plague Engineer retro foil from Modern Horizons Original. So that's pretty cool to get that. Plague Engineer. I know the Plague Engineer card originally from uh, Modern Horizons was like a 5 or $6 card. I don't know what the reprint retro foil is, but hey, that's not bad. All right, and a food token with a thopter. So nothing huge, but I think there's some good value in these. So let's just go ahead and get this stupid air off here, and I keep leaving it. I'm going to try to remind myself not to. Let's see what Woot has for his, for, for his pack in the Battle Pack competition. All right, not too shabby. Um, 2565 is the total for this pack for Woot MTG. Uh, the top card was the Dragon's Rage Channeler at 983, and then the Plague Engineer was like 930 something. So two dot nine dollar cards in there, as well as the what's his name for four something Search Supremacist 75 cents, and the Silver Bluff Bridge Foil was actually a buck. So got a lot of stuff added in there to equal 2565. Not bad for uh, a pack, I don't think. Um, so I went ahead and put up there. I forgot what I had total, so I didn't count it out for the last video. Uh, I did, but I didn't put it on the video. It's 508 dollars. In value of those six packs that I opened for this collector booster, and here is the total value once I open all six, all twelve packs. So right now I've added twenty-five sixty-five. It's moving right along. There's a lot of good stuff still to be opened. So um, moving on to Archangel Elf. Let's see what uh, comes out of this uh, this pack. Whew. Pretty not too bad. Twenty-five sixty-five is, is pretty decent. Now there's a lot of cards in here that beat that in one swing, but we may not get any more. I mean, this may be it. This may be as good as it gets for whoever. You know what I'm saying? Alright, we got that island, that island, and then we've got, boom, Glimpse of Tomorrow. Good old Glimpse of Tomorrow, pretty cool card. My buddy tried to convince me that I needed to go in my deck, and I like it, but I'm just not sure if it's going to fit where I want it to. Maybe I'll put it in one of my other decks, but right now, I'm not sure. We'll figure it out later. Uh, Alright, we've got Kitchen Imp for our showcase card, one of our showcase cards. we got a Mythic, oh, I do believe this is going to be, it looks to be a showcase Planeswalker. I'm not sure what these are going for, but hey, booyah! Gayador, oh, hold on, Gaia drone, Gaia drone, Gaia drone. I don't know how to pronounce it. Gaia drone, uh, Dihada. I think I had one of the. Uh, did I open this? I feel like I tried to read Dihada once. Maybe I was just out of my mind. But nonetheless, that's a that's a sketch version or the showcase sketch version of this planeswalker. Pretty cool. Not a bad pickup at all. Uh, so it is a four drop, three different colors. Dang, come on, get in there. Let's see this wording. I don't think this card is blurry. I just think my camera's jacked up. Doesn't want to zoom in. All right, so what do we got here? Um, protection from permanence with. All right, you're driving me nuts here. You can do this. There we go. With corruption counters on them. Uh, each pay, uh, plus it up one. Each point loses two life, and you gain two life. Put a corruption counter on one up to one uh, other creature or planeswalker. Minus three loyalty counters. Gain control target creature or planeswalker till turn. Untap it and put a corruption counter on it. It gains haste until end of turn. Uh, minus seven, gain control of each permanent with a corruption counter on it. So you gain control, you don't give it back. So that's right, that's pretty cool. I can see that being pretty useful. So that's not a bad showcase to hit right there. We'll see what the value is here come the end of it. Jade Ranger Foil Showcase. And then we've got Defile from Modern Horizons. Um, uh, a retro foil there. Modern Horizons 1, that is. And got another. Well, this is an etched foil. We've got Chatterstorm etched foil. Good old etched foil Chatterstorm. From Modern Horizons 2, that is. And then we have a rare, pretty cool looking card. We've got Upheaval. I don't know about this one. It's a rare, but I feel like maybe it's decent. And this is an etched foil. Upheaval is the etched, is an etched foil. It is a set, six drop. Return all permanents to their owner's hands. I, I feel like that's pretty good. And we've, we've got Goblin Engineer back here. Goblin Engineer's not bad. I, I don't know if that one's got the, the good value to it or not. I could be wrong. Maybe it's just something simple, but... It's a uh, rare from Modern Horizons 1, Goblin Engineer, Retrofoil, and then that is it for Archangel. We've got a treasure slash bird token, so all right, well, some decent stuff here. I'll check the uncommons real quick to see if I missed one and tally up this pack and see if they can compete with 2565 for Mood MTG. Well, that was uneventful. So five cards did have enough value um, to be added to total. Unfortunately, it was only over 798. The Gaia Drone uh, Dihada was actually like 281. 
Um, so not very big pack at all for Archangel Elf. Not very promising for the rest of the packs that they're all going to look like that. But nonetheless, still a cool card. The upheaval wasn't, wasn't worth hardly anything at all. And I, I guess I didn't mention uh, earlier. I, I, I thought I, I thought I might have or thought I was going to and just didn't. I'm adding uh, from last time, last time I did the videos, anything at 75 cents or higher. So if it's just under the cusp at 70 cents, it just gets, gets bounced. So that's what I'm calculating um, for these totals. So in case you were wondering, there you go. There's the answer. Uh, Tommy Goal, next on the block. Tommy Goal. All right, let's see if we can do a little better than seven uh, ninety-eight, eight bucks. That was pretty trash. Those are the ones you don't want. Those are the packs you would love, to, would love to avoid. Aramaba. Oh my goodness. Glorious Enforcer, Prophetic Titan, and a Swamp. Got a Swamp etched. Etched Swampy. Then we've got a rare. Damn. Man, that's good. So we've got a borderless or extended arc dam. Not bad. I think the regular dam's like five bucks. This might be seven or eight, maybe nine. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. We've got Uncommon Showcase, Timeless Witness. The foil was a buck and a half. Not sure if this is going to make the 75 cent mark, but we'll see. We've got, ooh, a really bright. I think I know what this might be. This feels like this is Solitude again. But no, that was rare, so uh, that was a mythic. It's not going to be Solitude. We got a rare, really cool looking card. Ooh, Counterspell. Nice. The counterspell borderless. I'm pretty sure it's a borderless. That's pretty cool looking. Can't go wrong with a little counterspell. The foil would be legit. I need to get that one for sure. We've got an uncommon showcase. Boom. We've got combined chrysalis. Foil. And then moving right along to the next one. We've got... Ooh! Terminal Agony! Oh! That is going to bump the value of Tommy Gold's pack tremendously. Oh my gosh. He might have won this one, folks. Moving on to the next one, Edge Foil. We've got Glimmer Baron. I think we pulled only 65 of these. There's a Glimmer Baron right there. Glimmer Baron, what's up, guy? Edge Foil. All right, give me something else. Come on, give me something else. What do we got here? What do we got here? Oh, Prismatic Vista Edge Foil. So we hit another one of those. Prismatic Vista was not on the top one, anyways. But now we've got Edge Foil. I think I got the regular Retro Foil uh, earlier. Now it's the Edge Foil. So boom, add that to the collection pile. We got another rare foil back here. What is it? Search the premises. So we have the regular one from the first pack I opened. Now there's a foil one. Anything left? Nope, just the token. Squirrel Goblin. All right, not too bad. That Prismatic Vista is a good hit. Unfortunately, the etched foils, as cool as they made them sound, they're worth a lot less than the regular foils. Surprisingly, I guess, but maybe not so surprisingly. All right, quick pack right there. Let's check out the total and see what Tommy Gold got. All right, now that's more like it. So the Prismatic Vista etched foil was a $30 card, which automatically jumped them past a Woot MTG, and then you're going to add in Counterspell and Dam, uh, both 5 to 6 bucks a piece. Counterspell foil is like 16 I would have loved to have that one. It's really That's going to be looking cool, so I'm definitely going to reach for that. Search for the premises. Uh, search premise like a buck and a half, I think. Uh, so not not too shabby. Forty two bucks for that pack. Getting back in that groove. That's what we want to see. That kind of a that kind of a value kicking in. I mean, we're getting close to six hundred bucks now, um, but definitely not keeping up to pace with that five hundred and eight. That's for sure. These three packs. Who knows? All right. Let's see what Tim's got on the on the market or on the block or the wherever you want to call it. He's on the clock on the block in the market waiting for his pack to be open. All right. Sounds good to me. Oh, Faithless Shell. Storm's God, no way. That's some Greed? Did you say Greed? Captain Ripley Vance? What? And a Plains. Can't forget the Plains. So we got a Plains etched. First one. First Mythic slash Rare slash whatever. Sanctifier and Vec. Uh, extended Art. And then we're going to go right on into a Showcase. World Weary. Got that one. Had that one before. And then now a Mythic. Oh, is this Ragavan? We got Ragavan. Game is a probably over. Tim Bister is going to run away with this one. Oh, it is. You can almost tell by the value down there, or by the by the quality down there. So Ragavan was up top, so we are going to give away another card. Ragavan was one of those cards to hit. This is the borderless non-foil. I pulled the foil one in the first pack of the box. Now we hit the, non, the borderless non-foil one. That's like a $70 card. So, right, like I said, boom. That's a winning, winning card, winning pack almost immediately. Um, there's still other options. There's still multiple cards you can land in these packs, so nobody's out of the equation just yet. Uh, Ragavan, moving right along to Soul Herder. Oh, I haven't seen this one in a minute. I do remember that from Modern Horizons too. Good old Soul Herder. Soul Herder. Uh, retro foil. And then we've got a Showcase foil. Late to dinner. Man, I hate being late to dinner. Everybody hates when I'm late. Nobody gets mad at me. 
All right, moving on to retro foil. We got Talisman of Conviction. These are actually pretty cool. This I do believe is an etched foil. Yes, it is. So these actually aren't half bad. Pretty pretty cool looking cards. Um, the etched foil isn't super horrible. Clear enough if you get it in the light, see what you can see. Uh, so you got the Talisman of Creative Conviction. That's also from Modern Horizons, the original. And then our next etched foil is a Necrogoyf. So that is another etched foil. Boom. Of the Necrogoyf, the one we had earlier in the uh, extended art. So Necrogoyf there. What do we got back here? We've got a rare, and it is Glimpse of Tomorrow. Now it's the foil version of the one I got earlier. So we got the foil version of the extended art. And a squirrel slash crab token. All right. I want to do a quick tally of this one, see where we're at. But I'm thinking Tim Bister just took the lead. What do you think, folks? <clears throat> well, that is definitely how you make a, a comeback, essentially, uh, as far as, like, better pack value. Ragavan is $92. I was a little low than guessing what it was, but $92 for that borderless uh, Ragavan. And then all these other cards right here were all at a value of at least 75 cents or more. I think the, the Plains was 90 Talisman was 2 something Soul Hoard was a buck something Necrogoyf is $0.90. Cents. Uh, you know, I mean, it all tallied up, and eventually it made $101.78 for the total value of that pack. Boom! Tim Bister on a roll, because I think he won something on the last giveaway. Uh, so, or maybe the one before that, but either way, still pretty cool though. One hundred one dollars for that pack. All right, are you? You're up, buddy. Uh, you can beat this. Trust me. There is a lot of other stuff in there. If we happen to, if you happen to land uh, a couple um, shock lands, um, foil ones, maybe specifically not the etched foil ones, or maybe another ragavan. I don't even know, but it's a very possible, very very doable. So let's see what's going to happen for are you. Vile and Tumor, Abiding Grace, and a Swamp. That's like our fourth Swamp in a row. I well, not fourth. I think three. I think I've got three out of these packs so far. They're probably different ones, but nonetheless. Uh, etched Swamp. Etched Swampy. And our first one is Brea's Apprentice. So that's the extended art. That one might be a borderless. I'm not sure, but it's cool looking. Brea's Apprentice. Going right into a Showcase Rakdos Headliner. He's a headliner. Show headliner. You know. And moving right along to, we got Rise and Shine. Rise, yep. All right, so Rise and Shine, so showcase version. Pretty cool there. Moving right along into another retro foil, we've got Undead Augur. I think I have that last pack. It might have been an et uh, etched foil. Not last pack, but last opening. So Undead Augur. And then showcase foil, Faithless Salvaging. Not looking too promising, are you? You better hit two big uh, lands here on the back side somewhere, because right now you're kind of... <laughs> all right let's see what we got let's see what we got boom air amoeba top dog etched foil that is a bad mamma jamma Whew. all right moving right along and we've got gay as will i guess that's a cool card i don't know if it's got the same value as some of their stuff this etched foil looks very awkward compared to some of their ones looks not as etchy so we got etched foil gay as will and then our rare back here looks like a land. It looks like Marsh Flats. It is. So we did get a shock land. Marsh Flats. Borderless. Or extended art foil. I forget what she's what they're called. So that's a pretty good hit. I don't think all this together is going to catch Ragavan. But it very well could t give you the second place position. Which isn't too bad. I mean, I think the last time you had a pack, pack opening you were with us. One of the ones you had. You were like at the bottom of the barrel. So heck of an improvement. Nonetheless. Uh, Alright. Well, let's go ahead and tag with another treasure crab. Let's tabulate and see where we're at. Um, see if we can even get, scratch the surface of the, the Ragavan's total there. Uh, all right. All right. Not a bad pack. Uh, $33.02. Uh, and Marsh Flats was 29 bucks, And then you had uh, Undead Augur for a buck and a half or two bucks maybe. Well, I don't remember exactly what it was. Gay, no, it was the other way around. Gay as well was uh, like two bucks. Uh, two fifty, and then Undead Augur like 80 cents. But still, pretty good pack. Didn't quite get second place, but... You still had a good pack, nonetheless. So, uh, moving right along. Last pack, we have XX. Is he going to be able to squeeze it with, like, a duplicate uh, um, shock lands and something else? Like that first pack? First pack to last pack. Let's see if we can get a, a reversal. Not reversal. We don't want a horrible pack. But we'll see if we can have a, an awesome pack like we did that very first pack from the first video I did. Maybe, maybe not. All right. Two, 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 three comments. Glorious Enforcer. Spreading Insurrection. I think that's the standard. I feel like maybe I was counting wrong earlier. We got a mountain etched foil. First mountain in this six packs, I think. I don't believe I have one yet. 
And we've got a rare up, for, up first, Profane Tutor. That one's pretty decent. I don't remember if this tutor's got as much value as some of the other ones, but still a good tutor nonetheless. It's not a mythic rare, it's just a regular rare. Good old Profane Tutor. And then we've got a showcase, late to dinner. And a mythic rare, another showcase. Booyah, Grix, Grist the Hunger Tide. So we got the other, or one of the other Planeswalkers. This is a showcase version as well and this one is two colors legendary planeswalker grist of the hunger tide as long as grist the hunger tide isn't on the battlefield it's a 1-1 insect creature in addition to its other type other types okay uh plus it up uh, create one black and green insect tug creature then mill a card if an insect card was milled this way put a little to counter on Grix, grist and repeat the process minus two you may sacrifice a creature when you do destroy target creature or planeswalker yuck each opponent loses life equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Well, that's kind of coolish. Uh, yeah, I like that. Black and green, not not my style, but maybe I can squeeze it into my elf deck. All right, what is our first retro? We've got Monoskeleon. Retro foil, Monoskeleon. All right, and we've got a common showcase foil. A lot of showcases in this one. Jade Avenger. And then we've got Bone Shards, etched foil. Boom, boom. Boom to the bone shards. All right. What do we have behind door number 75? Oh, Marsh Flats Retro Etched Foil. So we got Marsh Flats a couple times so far. Two Marsh Flats. That's Etched Foil Retro. Marsh Flats, not a bad hit. Can need, need some more help, though. We've got... This looks like Counterspell. Yes! I was hoping I'd get this. This is a really sweet-looking card. 16 bucks. So right now we've got a Mythic Rare uh, Showcase, a Marsh Flats Etched Foil, and a $16 Counterspell Borderless Foil. Pretty good hit there. Not going to catch him, though, I don't think. we got a Treasure Clue combination. Still good still good stuff regardless. Let's go ahead and tell it up and see how close it gets. He might have taken second with all that. It's a possibility. Let's see. Oh, he gave it a valiant effort. That is for sure. Uh, so the Marsh Flats Etched Foil version was... $33, and somehow or other, I ended up putting my dollar sign on the back end of that. That was the weirdest thing ever. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't have to fix it necessarily, but it looks kind of silly with it back there. Is it still going to be there when I... Uh, yeah, I don't know what it's doing. I must hit a button and messed it up. It doesn't matter. It's still tallied the correct number, I think. <laughs> now I'm confused. Let's see here. Yeah, okay. It's it's fine. I don't. That's so weird. I'm not sure how that even happened. Anyway, so uh, without continuing to talk for no apparent reason, so there we go. Uh, Tom, uh, Tim Bister still stayed on top, 10178, but XX made a valiant effort at 6438 with Marsh Flats Edge Foil. Uh, all in all, huge, excellent box. So, like I said, it's 374 after taxes, or 371 after taxes, and a 784 dollar value for all the cards that the high valued stuff that was pulled out of this box. Pretty good. I mean, almost doubled. I think. Uh, no, I did double. A little bit above double, technically, based on the math. So, yeah, a little higher than double. I can't math very well sometimes. But still pretty good. 275 for this six. 508 for the first six. Nasty. Good stuff right there. So, congratulations, Tim. Uh, you get to take home this bad boy, Darkness, uh, from Legends. It's in really good shape. About a $14 card. Um, for the rest of you, um, we're going to do a randomized drawing. All right. So, let's go ahead and get this first drawing out of the way. Let's go ahead and bring down uh, the non-winners. We're going to throw RU and, and we're just going to copy RU and X, X down here on the bottom. And then we're going to add these two uh, up top here. And then Woot going to go towards the bottom. And then Kevin Wheeler was the only other person to comment. And I said earlier today, if you want to comment, you can get in for a giveaway. And he was the only one that had an additional comment. He he did comment prior to everybody else commenting, but he did not give me a correct answer. So I couldn't give him a slot in the battle pack. Um, he, maybe he just didn't understand the instructions or, or what. But I, I since I put it out there and, and everybody else gave me correct answers, I couldn't just give him a spot. So I want to make sure it was fair for everybody. Uh, but Kevin Wheeler is going to be on here for this possible giveaway. So that's cool at least. And we're going to just, uh, we'll start here at the top. Uh, this spot is what we're going to randomize to. Oh, I spelled that horribly wrong. All right, so this spot, we're going to do this column of names four times. I'm going to jump it up. Normally three, we're going to go four this time. I want to change it up a tiny bit. 
And after the fourth randomization, whoever is sitting in this spot next to this one will win the first selection um, of the cards I just showed uh, what's available. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. We got randomized one, uh, two, three, and four for the first additional giveaway we have Archangel Elf. All right, so Archangel Elf is going to win that uh, first pick um, out of those cards available. And let's go ahead and drop Tommy down just to do that. We'll drop Tommy down and we will paste and then we will move this uh, to the bottom. All right, we'll just do that. We'll paste at the bottom. Let's go ahead and randomize one more time since I did draw one of these. I, I, I so I like to do rainforest, and it was randomization, but you know what? I wanted to give some away, and I, I ended up two arch flats and a ragavan, so it, it's worth another giveaway, in my opinion. All right, we're going to do four more again, and whoever's at the bottom on this spot will win the next giveaway. So we're giving away three cards, one for the winner of the battle pack, and then two randoms. Um, that's what we're doing tonight, and this is going to uh, close out the video. So we got one, two, three, and number four goes to... XX. All right. So uh, these randomizations, a lot of people are commenting that have done it regularly. So they're going to win stuff more often because they're just commenting. So anybody wants to get into this and likes the content and wants to participate, all you got to do is comment, follow the instructions. Uh, I mean, because I don't know who's viewing it. If you're just viewing it, I don't know if you're participating or not or getting involved. So if you just comment, even if you hit the like button, I think I can figure that out. But I'd like to see comments, I'd like to see that you guys are paying attention, uh, which is cool because then I know you at least watch my videos. Uh, anyway, um, so congratulations to XX, Archangel Elf, and Tim Bister for their wins today on this video. Um, I'm not sure when the next one's going to be. I did get a request to do some MTG Arena uh, video play, so I'm going to try to knock some of that out in the coming weeks. And I'm not sure, what, like I said, not sure when the next big giveaway is going to be. Next pack opening video probably will be when I get. Um, the Dungeons and Dragons stuff in, which is going to be about a week and a half, I think. But nonetheless, but either way, I might slide something in there. But just look forward to more videos, um, and we'll catch you on the next video. All right, check you later, deuces. <laughs>